Today we're going to be going over elevator operations as part of your high-rise major emphasis training. Uh, during the training, unfortunately, we don't have access to elevators or the time to go over all of this um, then. So we're putting together this video now and then after the training or any time at your convenience, you can go out in your area and perform these phase one and phase two operations. Just be cognizant that when you do that, you take control of the elevators away from the people who may be using them. So find elevators that, that are conducive to that. Phase one and phase two operations are designed for firefighter emergency operations during high rise fires. And so the common belief is that when uh, alarm goes off in a high rise building that the elevators will automatically enter into a phase one recall and they'll be waiting for you at the lobby. That's not always the case. The only time the uh, elevators will go into automatic phase one recall is when the lobby detector immediately outside the elevator hoistway is activated and then it goes into automatic phase one recall. However, we want to put it in a manual phase one recall with our FEO K1 or the corresponding key to the panel. So it, on your guys' apparatus, you all have the fire emergency operations key, which is the FEOK1, which will work in a lot of instances, but not all of them. And so as you approach the elevator hoistway, you're gonna notice that there's a fire recall uh, switch here, along with all of your other controls. And so in this instance, you're gonna use your FEOK1. You're gonna go from the off position, and then you're gonna turn it to the on position. Once it's in the on position, it's in a manual phase one recall. We can pull the key out, and then we're gonna utilize this same key to go into a phase two recall. And as you can see, all elevators in that bank will go into a phase one recall. So again, it's important that when you're out training to know that now these elevators are out of service. So as we enter into the elevator, if our fire is on the, uh, the ninth floor, the industry standard is anything seven floors and above, we can use the elevators. And so you take it two floors below the fire floor. So if it's on the ninth floor here at DMA Plaza, we can take it to the seventh floor, uh, check the, the floor, floor for any smoke and layout, hook up on the eighth floor and proceed to fire attack on the ninth floor. So once you're into the elevator, there's gonna be a panel such as this. Some of them are gonna look a little bit different and it doesn't really matter if you're in a traction elevator like we are now, or if you're in a, a hydraulic elevator or an MRL. They should be all very similar in nature, but they may look um, a little bit different. So we're in phase one right now by taking this from the off position to the on position, now we are in phase two. And you notice you can't pull the key out in phase two unless you go to hold. So you go hold and it'll take the key and it'll hold you on whichever floor you select. So once you're in the on position in phase two, you will select your floor and you'll notice that the door doesn't close. And so you have to hold the door close button until it closes all the way. If you let off of it, it opens back up. And this is a built-in safety feature called the peekaboo feature. And we'll show you more when we get up to the seventh floor. So it's closed, it'll carry us up to the seventh floor. And the one, the other thing to be cognizant of is the weight on these elevators. So their rated capacity um, can be exceeded if we get eight people and all of their gear in here. So once you're on the seventh floor, you notice the elevator stopped, but again, it won't open because of that peekaboo peek feature. So as you open the door, if you encounter smoke or fire, all you have to do is release the door and then it's gonna close. Four, so if I don't like what I see, I release it and it closes and then um, I can select my floor and go, go back into the lobby so if this is the floor I select, I hold it all the way open. Once the door is all the way open, it'll stay open. But if I wanna keep it here for me, which I don't necessarily advise, because now if I turn it into the hold position and keep the door open for my, for my crew's operations, this elevator bank is out of service to all other personnel who are on the scene. So depending on how it's written into the OD and what our practices do eventually become, Having a car operator on the um, on the scene for a uh, 
for a high-rise fire is imperative because it's not a great glorified job but they're the ones that are going to be shuttling equipment up and down so that we can utilize these elevators to their full capacity so once we um, once we exit the floor we can send the elevator back down just by switching the phase two back to the on position selecting the lobby and holding the door close button So now we're at the first floor. We're going to open the door back up. And we're going to be ready to shuttle more people. So I'm held on the first floor. We can shuttle the next crew in. And the operation is exactly the same to get them up two floors below the fire floor. All right, when we're all done with the operation and we want to reset the system, all we need to do is make sure that this inside control is in the off position. Make sure to get that re-secured and then come back outside and then take your fire recall back to reset and then back to off.